was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, Enzo here, son of a pizza man. Hi, I'm Davey. So before we get started though, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Uh, number two, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to, I forget the Etsy seller, but I got this on Etsy. It's a demon inspired pizza shirt. And You're gonna put it in there later, right? Maybe you'll put it in there so you can put it at the bottom of the screen sure. later on. Sure. Can you edit Put it? cute little faces. But anyway. It says I'm, pizza I'm really mystifying triangle instead of mystifying yeah. oracle. It's very cute. Yeah, so. Lots of good puns. Thank you, Etsy seller. Uh, this week we are making Wolfgang Puck's pizza dough. Uh, I made a very straightforward pizza, sauce, and cheese, but uh, I've never made his specific dough okay. and it's been made a gajillion times so I thought I'd give it a try. What's special about the dough? Uh, there's nothing really special about it. Okay. It's just his, it's just his dough. Okay. It, the the um, proportions are different okay. as far as the amount of, of flour or whatever he uses honey. So to make the dough you basically just mix up some honey, yeast, and water. Um, we didn't have regular honey, so I used this little container of hot honey, Mike's hot honey, that's supposed to be used for a drizzle on pizzas, but... We got the, we got the honey at the Pizza Fest, um, it was one of the... The Pizza Summit. The Pizza Summit, right, right, right. That was, um, that was one of my prizes, I think, right. for winning the Pizza Box Art Contest, was I got some hot, hot honey, which I dipped my... <laughs> Finger in before. It was good. The honey's real good. It's okay. spicy, but it's not like crazy spicy. It's got like a nice bite to it. So I wonder if I'll be able to taste it in the dough. Maybe. What else is in there? Uh, so I so I mixed that in the mixing bowl. Uh, I was supposed to mix it in a separate bowl. So I mixed it in the actual uh, KitchenAid mixer. So I had to pour it out, and then I poured in some flour and salt, you mix that up, and then you pour in the yeast, and the yeast mixture and the flour mixture, and then you add some oil to that, and then you just mix it up. Uh, the, so what I did was I halved the recipe, which I don't know what happened, but it was too wet. So I had to add an extra, I think, cup of flour to the dough. To Am I crazy, it. or is that a thing that happens to you a lot, that you have a hey. dough that ends up too wet? Hey. Um, and so it finally came together. I ended up having to take it out of the bowl and, and kind of knead it by hand and kind of do that whole process, uh, which was fine. And then I let it sit for about 40 minutes in a bowl, oil bowl. Uh, and then I punched it down because it rose a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I let it sit for another about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. And then, um, yeah, and then I kind of just formed it, and um, yeah. And, and then we have we have pizza. And here Voila. we have pizza. Voila! So let's just try Shablam, it. I'm a pizza. Shablam. Um, I'm really happy with the um, with the crumb. Mm -hmm. of the, the crust is really fluffy and light, and it's brown, and it, it looks really You're giving good. me DiGiorno <laughs> Yes. Giving you delivery pizza. Yes, it's got like so. a really nice big handle crust yeah. on it, which is really cool. Yeah, so, all right, okay. here we go. I don't think I taste the spicy honey. Yeah. I thought at first I was gonna taste there's only, it There's only like a teaspoon, so it's not a ton of honey, so. Mm. Just for something for the yeast to nibble on. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's good. I I would probably make this again. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty solid, Pizza dough. It's a solid dough. I kind of don't, I don't love it. Um, only because I think that, the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have that. I like it when it has a little bit more yeasty flavor to it. Mm. And this, I mean, the thing that's rad about this, which is kind of crazy, is that it really does taste like a, like almost like a store-bought dough or like a, or like a commercially made dough. And I don't know if that's like what I'm tasting is how, as to how much sugar's in it. Um, I mean, there, there there really isn't a lot of sugar in it. There's no so. sugar. For, isn't honey is sugar though? Yeah, but there's yeah. only two spoon, a teaspoon of honey, which isn't a ton of oh, no. sugar. So it's anyway. not it's not my favorite that you've made, but I yeah. think it's good. It's good. So yeah. yes, it's a winner. 
It's a it's a winner. It's are you gonna winner. include the are you gonna include the um the the recipe? People can try yeah. it. Yeah, I'll include the recipe in the description box below. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, if you haven't already, again, please subscribe. If you like my content, give me a big fat thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe right here. Right here. And uh, don't forget, if you want to get a hold of me, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, until next time, smell you later. Ciao for now. Could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man.